Cards has proven too much for our traveling troubadour. The game boy, you gotta learn to play it right. You got to know when to hold him. Mm. Know when to fall. If you wouldn't mind, could you stop singing? Sorry. Cut the cards. Welcome to Las Vegas, baby. And they say humans are more evolved. Meanwhile, play the game, boy. You gotta learn to play it right. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fall. Stop singing! I can't fall! There's a listing to alligators singing to kill you, stupid bum! While a dishonesty, Lyle had entered the poker game. See if you can figure out which one he is. Whoa! Uh, uh, you hey. foolish fowl, what are you doing here? Ha ha, ee ee, tookie tookie! So you're saying that George is suffering deep psychological damage due to his unresolved conflict over whether Ursula's happy and whether he's a good husband and king, and these conflicts are keeping him up nights and he's in need of my immediate advice and counsel. Tookie tookie! In a moment, I'm sitting on a great hand here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the gambling bug had bit our normally guarded gorilla. I'll take three. Maybe my luck will change. But luck wasn't in the cards for our poker-playing primate, because as the game progressed, there was a strange sense in the room that Ape was about to be cheated out of the deed. I'd like to stay in, but I have uh, nothing left to bet. I'm broke. Or maybe you have something of value. Stocks, bonds, real estate, in Africa? I'm afraid not. Don't you own, uh, what's it called, uh, Ape Mountain? No, that's a common misnomer. The deed to Ape Mountain belongs to the legendary king of the jungle, George of the Jungle. Perhaps you've heard of him. Vaguely. So, what are you holding? Nostril Damas? There. Just four queens. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm holding four Lyles. But don't you worry your pretty little hairy head about it. You can work off the dead performing in my nightclub for the next 17 years. 